Now talk more about the Lewis College of Business as well as all academic affairs here at Marshall University is our provost, Dr. Gail Ormiston. Dr. Ormiston, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here, Bill. I want to talk a little bit. We obviously just heard about the 40th anniversary of the Lewis College of Business. In four decades, uh, how has the educating uh, of business uh, students, how do we uh, teach business to students, changed in maybe that four-decade period, would you say? It's changed a considerable amount. I mean, clearly you would understand and everybody would understand that we're using computers in the classroom and different kinds of technology. We're connecting students with trading floors uh, more directly, um, more experience in terms of understanding what the markets are doing on a daily basis and mm -hmm. sort of engaging them in actual um, real-time kinds of activity. And I think that we're probably seeing that increase in our own college of business as well as other um, forms of our uh, learning experience at Marshall. Excellent. It's, it's not just a national market, but a global market, but also, I guess you would say, a 24-hour market as it's well. It's constant. It's 24-7. It's um, you know, we, we're learning about markets from a, a, around the globe constantly. Mm -hmm. We're watching the markets in Tokyo and in London and in um, Europe as well as in New York. Outstanding. Well, I know uh, one recent uh, change in one of the colleges is the College of Science has a new dean. Can you tell us a little bit about the new dean of College of Science? I'd be happy to. We conducted a national search. Um, we have hired uh, Charles Somerville, or Chuck Somerville, who is currently a professor of biological sciences at Marshall University. Mm -hmm. He will be the new dean of the College of Science effective July 1. Um, Wayne Elmore, who's also a professor in biological sciences, has um, has been serving as interim dean for the past year, and he served in that capacity several uh, years ago as well. And we're very happy that um, Wayne has been in that role and um, mm -hmm. has uh, continued, and he'll continue till July 1 when Chuck um, takes over. Excellent. And we're looking forward to it. Well, we look forward to working with Dean Somerville. That sounds yes. great. Uh, I know the Faculty Senate recently passed uh, some changes to what's called the core curriculum for undergraduate students. Uh, to a layman watching or possibly a potential undergraduate student, what does that mean to them? It means that when they come to Marshall, effective the fall of 2010, they'll be offered a new set of courses that will focus on critical thinking activities. More engagement in the classroom, more student-oriented activities, more activities that will focus on what we call critical thinking or what it is to look at the presumptions, the ideas that lie behind the practices, the actions that we take mm -hmm. that inform all kinds of disciplines. All of our disciplines have a certain feature about critical thinking that we're trying to understand. This will replace um, the existing Marshall Plan, which is basically the, the, the formative courses that students take as general education requirements. All universities have general education requirements. This is somewhere around 36 hours of general ed courses, courses that introduce or expose students to the disciplines. So they'll take basic courses in philosophy and religion and comparative literature in the sciences, uh, perhaps in business, um, perhaps in journalism. They'll take some classes in, on media and, and the integrity of media. Mm -hmm. And what happens then is that students are exposed to the b basic ideas of those courses. They will have had some critical thinking courses in advance of taking those classes, which will give them a new perspective on what those discipl disciplines are like. Mm -hmm. And then as they move through those courses, they move into their major courses after they declare a major. Why is this important for undergraduate students, shall we say, as they either enter, quote, the outside world in the marketplace or go into graduate work? Why would you say that change is important and also the role of critical thinking within those changes? The change to critical thinking or emphasizing critical thinking in our courses is important for any student um, going through a university education at this point. I mean, it's important for developing skills, thinking skills, uh, verbal and written um, communication skills, um, oral skills, being able to present ideas publicly. Um, in any discipline whatsoever. So what we're attempting to do is to give the students the kind of flexibility in thinking, the kind of tolerance of ambiguity of new ideas, of diversity of ideas that will help them when they move through not only their career here at Marshall, but also into the, into the workplace as well. We really want our students to be known for having the capacity to think critically, to be flexible in very complex situations, and to be creative in their responses to those situations. And obviously as you know, new jobs, new challenges, uh new fields of endeavor are created, this is going to better prepare them, I would think. Yeah, we're really preparing students for a future that we have no understanding of at this point, I mean, which is the nature of any future, obviously. But we're talking about problems that will be very complicated that come out of healthcare situations, out of business decisions. I mean, if we think about our own 
um, financial situation in the country today. It takes some very creative thinking to respond to that financial situation on an individual level as well as on a collective level or a group level. Mm -hmm. And so we're hope, we hope that our new core curriculum will provide students with the kind of tools that they'll need and they can use in any circumstance or any context when they leave the university. Very good. Uh, when this program uh, airs, we'll have already been through our commencement, uh, which occurred, of course, in Huntington and uh, every person who walked across the stage, uh, their name was said, and I think that's very important to, for them to receive that kind of recognition. Uh, this is your first commencement with Marshall University. Yes. Uh, do you have your comments ready? Uh, yes, I have a, all my comments ready. A script has been provided, and I'm looking forward to going through it. Excellent, excellent. And why do you think it's important? I mean, obviously that's a milestone in many ways, but I always kind of consider that the final product or the final stamp of approval, if you will. Why is it important we recognize that? It's important to the university for several reasons. One, we want to recognize the success of our students, the accomplishments of our students of having um, gone through a curriculum, having identified a program of study that they would like to pursue, mm -hmm. and to have succeeded at it. And the, the, the moment of success is commencement, is graduation, is of getting the diploma, of getting the recognition, of receiving the recognition from the university that they have satisfied all the requirements to get this credential. Mm -hmm. The credential, the diploma itself is important because it, it, it is marked on a transcript which is used for employment purposes later on. It's used by students to um, you know, uh, become members of societies, to become members of communities on their own right. And um, that's very important for both the student as well as the university. And it's also very important to the families who've been very supportive of the students as they've been um, going through this uh, career at Marshall. Outstanding. Well, you've served as our Chief Academic Officer or Provost now for nearly a year. Uh, what have you learned in this year? I've learned a great deal, Bill. I've learned a great deal about Marshall and the wonderful institution that it is. I've learned a great deal about the traditions. Um, we have a, a wonderful faculty. We have a wonderful um, set of students. And I think we have great plans for the future to increase the, the number of students that we're bringing in and the preparation of those students as while well, they're here. And I've enjoyed it a great deal. I'm looking forward to more years. Excellent. Well, we're, we're very, very glad you're here and uh, hope you'll stay with us for a few more years, hopefully. But uh, Provost Dormerson, thanks very much. Thank you.